What's up, what's up, G Hefe Squad? You know who it is, your host with the most, G Hefe, with another one. And today, I'm gonna be talking about dating, basically giving you some dating experiences. I'm gonna talk about a real life situation. I'm gonna get more into that, talking about my real life situation, see if that's gonna help you out in your dating experiences. And y'all could chime in, let me know what I'm doing and see how you can help me out because I'm out here in Washington DC the nation's capital out here dating DMV basically it's the whole metropolitan area and when the DMV that can that includes Washington DC Northern Virginia and Maryland but I don't think it extends all the way up to Baltimore Baltimore got its own thing going out on out there I don't really know much about that part but I'm just telling you about my dating experience so I'm gonna get in the real live one today actually so This was about, well, the story started about four years ago when I was doing a, uh, I was doing this feature for the History Channel. I seen, it was other people around there and I seen this, this woman, she was gorgeous. That's what the, you know, the title of the East African Vixen, shout out. It's a lot of, it's a lot of different people from all over the world out here in D.C., obviously, again, it's the nation's capital, but it, it is tons of Ethiopians out here. I I believe that you could look it up yourself, but they said outside of Ethiopia, this is the most concentrated area. It has the most Ethiopians outside of Ethiopia in uh, the D.C. metropolitan area. Anyway, so blase blah, we on it, we finishing up, we wrapping up, and I really don't even know because how I did it because I wasn't, again, this was four years ago, so I wasn't as versed as I am in the game. I was just coming out of a five-year relationship, not fresh, fresh out of it, but I was just, you know, it's five years. And then I was out of it. So I really, I didn't have my feet on the ground on how I was just interacting with other women, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, I got a number. I got a number. And then I was like, yo, let's link up or whatever. We're going to go to this. uh, What was it? It was like a a Jamaican tea house kind of situation. They had the food basically. Uh, you know with all the coffee houses they have and then they'll have food like little bites or whatever Well, this is a Jamaican one and they they focused on a lot of plant-based stuff. So that was right up my alley. So and uh, She was cool with it She was with it. We linked up now shout out, you know, I'm with the bold nature brand I even hooked her up with a uh, t-shirt like yeah Blase blah, here you go, you know, just shouting it out. What's up with you? What's up with you? She tell me now now she's gorgeous for me, to me, you know, and so I'm like, yeah, what's up, what's up with you, but I'm not, still, I'm not even like, oh, you look beautiful and all of that, I'm just, I'm just really trying to catch the vibe and, and see what she's about, all right, cool, give her the shirt, she liked the shirt, I'm talking about what else we got going on in the world, she, you know, I was even seeing that she wanted to be a model in the scene, whatever, or do some modeling, not be a model, but do some modeling for the brand, and then I'm just, you know, cracking a joke, she had a good time, all right, bet we get out of there, like, uh, fast forward like like i hit her up after that and she ain't never responded to me and me being me yo hey if you don't respond to me i let it fly i'm not even going i'm not even going like chase you down because you know we grown we grown we got things going on so all right fast forward four years later we 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 cross each other's path right and then she was like yo don't I know you? Now, I didn't have longer hair at that time. I had shorter hair. She's like, don't I know you? And she was, I was like, yo. Well, see, I didn't really even know how to pronounce her name, so I didn't want to mess it up. And I was like, yo, you know, it's kind of foggy. And she was like, nah, we went to the, uh, the Calabash, the Jamaican, the Jamaican Tea House, right, in D.C. And I was like, oh, yeah, 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 you know, playing it Joe cool like I'm doing. Because, yo, she ain't never hit me back. So, you know what I mean? I ain't error out for that part. I was just like, whatever. Then she was like, yo, anyway, long story short, we rekindled it. And she like, yeah, link up. Actually, during this video, you see me riding on a bike. That's actually, I'm on my way at the time of this record. I'm on my way to go link up with her out in uh, LaFont Plaza. But I'm going to get to that part. So... So she's like, yeah, uh, what's up with you? You know what I'm saying? She's like, you ain't had hair when, when I knew you. And then she was like, yo, um, you didn't, uh, how's, the, how's the brand going? I be sleeping in this shirt. Like, she remember the restaurant, everything. Now, this was four years in time that we hadn't seen each other. Now, I didn't know at that time she had just moved to the city or whatever. But either way, so she was like, yo, she had like total recall on the whole situation. So, you know, I'm cooling, I'm cooling, I'm cooling. And then... 
she was like, yo, I was like, yo, I'm about to go. I'm about to go. She's like, yo, you could drop me off in the city. I mean, we was already in the city, but downtown. She's like, yo, you can drop me off downtown. You know, I'm on a bike or whatever, too. That You know, I ain't had a moto back then. I was like, you know, yeah, it's cool. But now I had my bag in the back part. So, yo, she had to get real close up on me to, like, just because it's not enough space. Like, where the passenger be, I had a bag already back there. And then she she hopped back there. She's like, yo, you know, I was like, yo, you good? You tight? Everything good? Like, I kind of, like, on the low, cop some feels, but on the, you know, she had to poke out. She's like, nah, you good? You good? She's just super vibing with me, man. I'll put the video up, a part of that, on the part two. I've just given you this story. If y'all, if y'all, if we get enough views and enough likes, if not, I just keep it moving. But anyway, so yo, we ride, we go downtown. She's like, yo, let's catch a drink. You know what I mean? She ended up wanting to go to this well, first spot she went to. It was closed. Then we went to this super fancy spot and uh, Clyde's. I mean, super fancy for what we was doing. Like I was just in my regular gear or whatever. And it's a downtown. Yo. Then we got the drinks. Uh, but I had places to go. And so we did a round, and I was like, yo, cool, yo, I'm going to get out of here. And uh, she was like, oh, man. Um, and then she hit, she looked up in her phone. She still had my number in her phone. I ain't have her number. She was like, yo, I still got your number saved. Like, I ain't air her out, but that wasn't a good thing. Like, yo, you had my number. You had, you caught the vibe back then, and you still didn't connect with me. Yo, that's on you, mommy. So, you know, she was like, yo, just hit me up. But what well, long story, she had left something in my bag. So we had to, we had, I had to get that back to her later on because I had already jetted out. And then we were just cool vibing. So I'm just saying to the fellas that's listening to this, I, I gave you that little background story. Now I'm going to give you the moral. Uh, basically is, yo, stay, keep working on your thing. Even if she's acting like she don't really know what you're doing, they see what you're doing. And when you keep leveling up, they going to more be into it and on you. And if they was into you before and you leveled up, they I mean, odds is, anybody things happen, but odds is she's going to be into you more. So don't sweat it if she's not hitting you back, if she's not getting with you. Because I'm telling you, that that's the most, that's that's what I see how I became more attractive. I just kept leveling up, leveling up, keep doing my thing, keep working on myself. I'm not pressing them out. Like I say, yo, she got a phone, she could hit me. She still had my number saved. So she could hit me if she wanted to connect with me. So... I mean, y'all got to get the views up if y'all want the part two and see what happened more with me and the East African Vixen. Enjoy yourself out there, G-Hefe squad. Easy though.